What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Jeremy J. Fit, coming back at you with another video for this channel. Um, I'm feeling very good right now, feeling very healthy. I'm feeling pretty, a lot better than before. I mean, you know, I know you saw my last video, my last video that I had posted, um, you know, give y'all update, you know, where I've been at the last, um, few months that haven't been posting but overall I'm still here today I'm back and it's I just feel good so I know what you all see it's something very um it's different what you normally would see you know you see a big plate you know food here but I wanted to do something different and I'm gonna give y'all, you know, a little bit of the healthy side. So I'm gonna be reviewing it, doing a little small. It's not a big, but I'm gonna do a small mukbang. As you can see, I mean, everything is small. Um, I'm gonna do like a little small food review slash mukbang um, of a little bit of healthy stuff. So I decided to go on a lot of healthy side. Um, I decided to go to Fruita Bowl. And though, for those of you who don't know what Fruit of Bowl is or where it's at, um, it's a place um, out here in Ewing on um, the TCNJ campus, the College of New Jersey um, campus, um, the campus center. They have a lot of um, list stores over there. Um, I stumbled upon um, Fruit of Bowl when I was doing Uber East and DoorDash one time and I had to do a pickup from them. And, um, I went in there and I said, oh, wow, they got actually fruit bowls in there. So um, one time after I went to a different location in Hamilton, um, I decided to go on their website just to see what else they have. So I saw this one um, little bowl um, that they have. Um, it was called the Muscle Up. So I said, you know what? When I go there, um, I'm going um, to try it. So the last time I went there was, I believe the other night. Um, the other night I went there, I had got a large muscle up bowl. And I said, oh, I said, you know what? This would be a good time for, you know, for me to do a food review on this little healthy food review, a little bit, something different out of the ordinary, you know? And um, so, what I, so what I ended up doing, I went back today and this time I got a small bowl. Now they have a small and regular, Yesterday I had a um, regular bowl, which is a little bit bigger than this. But um, as you can see, I got a small um, muscle up bowl from um, from there. And also, they also got these little um, protein bites, as you can see. They got these protein bites. I said, you know what, I'm gonna definitely try these. You know, get into these, see how they are. And, um, it's actually going to be pretty good. It's not light and healthy. And what I notice, whenever I'm on a diet and I eat out of here, this actually keeps me on track you know, whenever I'm craving a snack. Because you know how when you're on like a diet, craving snacks and everything, you know, you be want to create junk food and all that other stuff. But when you go here to Fruit Bowl, it'll actually take your mind off of it real quick. Like you won't even notice. You know, it'll keep you right on track with the type of, um, with the fruit bowls that they have. They have all types, so, if whatever you're in the area, um, if, if, if you're in the Jersey area, they have multiple locations everywhere, too. Just go on the website. I will post that link in the description below. Um, but if you actually go on the website, they have multiple locations, so if you're either in the Jersey area or all over, go there. Try their bowls, and trust me, you won't be disappointed. And also what you see right here, don't laugh at how it looks. I know it looks a little funny, but this is my little um, protein smoothie. I mean, it might not look like a um, smoothie, but um, it's something I, I made this morning. Um, I wanted to test something out, but um, I was trying to see if I could make you know different uh, protein um, smoothie. This time, instead of me using milk or water, I used apple cider, because you know it's the fall. And um, I said, you know what, since the fall here, I'm gonna do a little something different with my protein smoothie, so I'm gonna use apple cider this time to, to um, test it out, see how it is. And um, this morning it was actually pretty good, but um, if you want more um, 
more info on how I make my smoothies. Um, stay tuned for more videos, and I'm gonna um, post a video um, somewhere down in the future or on, on my Instagram and Facebook. I'm gonna show y'all how I make my protein smoothies. So, gotta stay tuned for that. So, before we get into this, make sure y'all give this video a like, um, comment down below. Also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed already and turn on your post notifications whenever I post a video and y'all will be notified. And also, don't forget to follow me on all social media platforms um, at Jerry J Fit. And if you want to send a little donation to me because, you know, I'm trying to um, do a little something more, you know, try to give back. So if you want to send a little donation, um, hit up my cash app also um my cash app is um dollar sign jeremy j fit so so let's get into this video and uh, let's just start eating all right gonna get into this uh bowl right here this is called the muscle up bowl as i already stated before <laughs> uh this actually has, um, this bowl actually has, you got the bananas and you have the, um, you have the, um, chocolate, um, Nutella, um, no, the chocolate whey protein with the granola and you have peanut butter. It's all in this little, um, all in there, all in here, as you can see, it's all in here. Um, you got the, um. Yeah, like I said, you got the bananas, you got the um, granola at the base, and then you have the chocolate whey protein and the peanut butter for the topping. So, and I also told them to add a little um, vanilla into it too. So I did a little mixture of vanilla and um, chocolate protein because you know, I also like vanilla. But you can also customize your own bowl when you're there too. <laughs> so again, to the video, I'm in this food. Ooh, uh-huh. This is even better the second time, or the third time, actually, because I had this like at least four times <laughs> in my life <laughs> since I first heard about it. But I told y'all before, when I stumbled upon this video, um, not this video, this, um, this place, I had, um, like I said, I was doing Uber Eats and DoorDash, and I said, next time I do a pickup from there, I'm gonna try some one of their bowls in. That's what I did. They got a lot of more stuff there too. They also have smoothies and toast. All other stuff you can think of. And, and when you walk in there, it's like smells so fresh, like so fresh and clean. Like you can't even like really describe it, the smell in there. Like it's so awesome and fresh and clean. Like, that you can't even, like, you can't even imagine the smell, you know? This place, this thing is good. No what um no um that's how I remember I had fruit this good. <laughs> I don't really eat fruit like that. I mean I do. The only fruits I really eat is mainly um bananas and um and grapes. Mainly grapes and sometimes bananas. I just started eating strawberries and it's okay to say the least, but overall it's just something I need to like, I'm trying to train my body into eating more, um, more fruits, you know, out of the ordinary, you know. It kind of feels good to be back, you know, doing these videos again, because I really did miss it. I miss recording for y'all. Um, It was really a lot that was going on 
<laughs> like I said before in my last video, um, really was a lot that was going on, and I really couldn't really describe. There was just a lot going on mentally in my mind, and I really couldn't um, couldn't fathom like trying to record, working, and then you know it's just a lot. And it was, it's like so much, I felt like it, it was a pretty much so much pressure, you know? You try to make sure when you do these um, videos, like when you, whoever, um, all the upcoming YouTubers and everything, like it's a, it's a lot of pressure. Like, you know, you trying to, um, first time starting off doing YouTube videos. And for me, it's about to be a year for me. Next month is gonna be a, um, a year since I posted my first video when I'm gonna be um, doing a real anniversary video coming soon, so. So y'all stay tuned for that. But it's like a lot of pressure. You know, you try to make like awesome, some great content. And like, you try to be sure you, you try to be like the best, you know? So you watch other YouTubers and you see like how they start off and then out the blue, they just shot up like within maybe a few months later, like they just shot up out of nowhere and they got mass subscribers and all that. And, um, and you're trying to get there and then you got some YouTubers who've been on here for like a year, like at least over a year or plus more, and they still stuck where they at, no matter how many times they switch up their content and do do a do a lot, you know, to try and gain more views. It, it, it it's really like it's a mental thing, and it's like it's really frustrating, you know. And sometimes it's frustrating and it's discouraging, cause you would think like, dang, like I did this, and like I don't know what else to, to do, like. I'm trying as hard as I can, you know, try to make great content and like nobody not subscribing to my channel, nobody watching my videos. Like I'm doing the best I can and all and everything, but you know, it is discouraging, it's frustrating, but I learned like, you know, no matter like how many people watch your videos, how many people subscribe to your channel, just don't let it stop there. Like people may not watch for but May, might not watch at first but trust me sooner or later they gonna you're gonna get recognized and you're gonna get the amount of subscribers that you want to have you know you're gonna be up to a hundred thousand so you can get that first YouTube plaque and then you want to get that millions so you can get that a million on um, that gold YouTube plaque you know and even plus that and um I know people just looking forward to, you know to keep creating videos so they can get that YouTube plaque you know and like and just gain more like, you know, um, and get more, um, uh, get more endorsements and more like people, you know, to sponsor your video, you know, more sponsorships, all that. Like, I know, I know, I know people look forward to that, but you know, sometimes it do, stuff like that takes time. And I'm learning that, you know, it's not gonna happen overnight. You know, yeah, I'm about to be um, at this for a year and I still got to like a certain amount of subscribers, you know. I feel like it could be more, but other than that, I'm still try. I'm still gonna try my best to come up with great content, you know, for my new subscribers and all my old subscribers, you know, and and I learned that, you know, it only it takes its time. So just don't let it like discourage you, you know. Just keep pushing, keep doing what you're doing, and. Sooner or later, it's all gonna pay off. That's like how it is, you know, with people going to the gym working out. You try to your best to lose this weight, and people expect it to happen like overnight or like in like a week or so. Like it stuff like that. Like it don't happen overnight. You know, you trying to drop lose a certain amount of pounds. Like it don't happen like that overnight. Like it, it takes its time. You know, it takes time. No matter how long it. Taste. You may lose a pound in one day or a half a pound in one day, but just don't let it stop there. Just keep going and keep pushing, you know. And that's a uh, that's the only thing like there to do is just be patient with it, you know. Then like that, it may happen to some people. It may not. But overall, you just keep doing you. Your time is coming. Don't try to force it and don't try to move ahead of it, but your time is coming. I know, um, 
you know, a lot of people really wish, you know, they was in like other people, other YouTuber shoes, but trust me, it's coming. Your time is coming. I should have got a bigger bowl, but no sudden little treat for y'all. Try this smoothie here. Smoothie still good. We're gonna get into these chocolate with protein bites. They have a chocolate and a vanilla, so you know I got both. Too bad. Like they just took they like, they pretty much just took like the little whey protein, isolate, put it and sometimes they rolled it up. And it tastes so good. Oh, the ingredients is right here. You got the chocolate whey protein bites. You got cinnamon, granola, honey, and peanut butter. So I'm guessing they took the, the chocolate whey isolate protein. They took some cinnamon. No, they took peanut butter. And they took a little bit of uh, honey, granola, and cinnamon, and then some whey, um, chocolate protein. They like just rolled it up. It's actually not bad though. This is like a little good protein snack I would eat like after a workout. I ain't gonna lie, this is really much needed and fulfilling. Like, it's not too filling to where I'm sluggish and tired. It's filling enough to like, oh, I feel good. I feel like running around the block. That's how this feels. That's exactly how this feels. week when my um that Tuesday was my birthday and um <laughs> and um no I feel actually good you know I'm uh 29 now so last week was my birthday I mean my original plan when I was coming back when I was playing a comeback video was to um 
do a um was to do one like at least the beginning of this month right before my birthday so that way i could be able to do a birthday um video but since you know due to like a mouse that was going on i said you know what, i'm gonna just wait till later on to do a comeback video but also i'm also um for the i'm gonna do a special um like I said, I'm going to do an anniversary video. And I'm going to do a special Thanksgiving video, too. I'm going to try to do a uh, Thanksgiving video. Uh, for y'all. And, um. See how um, everything turns out. We really, really. It's really good, though. Next, we're gonna see how this vanilla. Now, those y'all know me, I love vanilla. Vanilla is one of my favorite flavors. Like, when I first ate had ice cream, my first flavor I had was vanilla. And right from there, that's when I started with from vanilla to cookies and cream. So, <laughs> when I went to cookies and cream, then I, you, you should know that from there. <laughs> I literally was like, oh snap. Went from cookies and cream to that thing I know went from cookies and cream to chocolate chip cookie dough. And now what's really, the flavor that's really starting to take over in my life is <laughs> birthday cake. If they actually do a birthday cake protein bite, I'm gonna write Fruit of Bowl a letter. Matter of fact, I hope the people from Fruit of Bowl is actually watching. Y'all from corporate, I hope y'all watching. Y'all got the chocolate whey protein bites and the vanilla whey protein bites. Do a birthday cake. If y'all do a birthday cake, I promise you, y'all will have a lot of sales going up. If y'all do like a birthday cake or cookies and cream, even a red velvet, trust me, y'all sales are going to go up. And I'm pretty much going to buy up most of it anyway because <laughs> I came up with the idea. Maybe y'all should cut me a check, maybe. <laughs> I'm just saying. <coughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> nah, but um, but really, if y'all do a birthday cake protein bites for this, trust me. This would be, that would be a perfect, that would be perfect for, for y'all business. And I bet, like, everybody gonna wanna come in and buy that. Mainly me. <laughs> Is a and I love the vanilla. It's a lot of protein I'm getting. It's a lot of protein I'm getting, but this is good. It's good to have a certain amount of protein. The amount of protein I get, especially at the workout. Feeling so good, I feel a pump. Feeling pump. I know y'all wondering why I'm wearing my Eagles hoodie. And because I'm still an Eagles fan, I'm a diehard Eagles fan. And yes, I know they're not having the best season right now, but look, I still rock with them. But unlike everyone else, look, I'm gonna give a straight fact. Eagles right now, the coaching staff is inexperienced. They're all young. They're under the age of, all of them are under the age of 40. They're young and they're inexperienced and they really, don't know how to coach, especially the head coach, Nick Sirianni. He really, he really, he don't know how to coach for nothing. I'm sorry. And, I, and I've and i been saying this, and I said, I'm going to say this all season. 
I may be saying this on my YouTube channel. The Eagles need to rebuild, starting with the front office. And I said what I said, the front office. That means somebody from the front office needs to do something, or somebody from the front office needs to be fired. And if you know what I'm talking about, is it is. And I saw some comments what some people need to do, which I think might not be a bad idea. Either Jeffrey Lurie sells the team, or they fire Harry Roseman. Because what Harry Roseman is doing right now is like he just moving, just playing musical chairs with everybody. Oh, let's move him there. Okay, yeah, let's trade him to this. Let's do this and this, and let's do this and that. And then from the front office, it goes to the coaching staff. Honestly, y'all should never fire Doug Peterson. And here's why I say they should never fire Doug Peterson. And I'm going to say, and I hope somebody from, from Philly or from the Eagles organization or anywhere near there is watching this. Y'all should never fire Doug Peterson for one. His rookie year coaching, his first year coaching, he did a way better job than what Nick Sirianni is doing right now. I mean, the first three games, he went 3-0. and Yeah, they didn't make the playoffs, but look, it wasn't too bad. It wasn't that bad to the point where it was like, Oh my God, get him out of here. Like, no, he did a better job than what Nick, Nick Seriati did in his first season. Yeah, Doug Peterson, he, he they didn't make the playoffs the first year or nothing, but he did a good job as his first year coaching. But then the next year after that, took them to the Super Bowl and won. And then two seasons after that, which is a consistent playoff run. But then, because the one year, the one season that they don't make the playoffs, then y'all going to fire him. Which I think that wasn't fair. He only had one bad season when they just didn't make the playoffs. Yeah, they, they didn't make the playoffs one season, but that doesn't mean y'all should have fired him. Because honestly, he wasn't ever the problem. And now you bring in Nick Sirianni, a young head coach. He don't know what to, he don't know what he's doing. It's like he just randomly calling out plays. He, he, he taking control over everything. He called himself doing, like calling him doing all the play calls. What's the point of having an offensive and defensive coordinator if you're, if you're gonna do everything? Is that the whole coaching staff is inexperienced. And Jalen Hurts, it's not, I'm gonna just say this. Jalen Hurts is not bad. Honestly, the last um the last season when he came in, you know, towards the end of the season, you know, he started he started off. He actually was do he actually was pretty good. And he was decent, which gave everyone hop like like gave everyone hold like, okay, he he actually good. I'm actually um it's gonna be like he's actually gonna be pretty um good next season as of, um when he starts. But how he's playing right now, he's not bad. He is confused is because of what the play caller and what the coaching what like what they doing. He don't know what to do because he following with this like, okay, I'm supposed to run this, but what like Oh my, like, he's confused. He don't know who to throw to because these plays that y'all got him doing, these slants you got him running, you got him running the ball more. For one, why don't y'all have a run game? What's the point of having a running back if you don't have a run game? You passing literally every single play. And and that's what I believe. That, that just... I'm just saying... They need to rebuild. Eagles need to rebuild. Start with the front office. That's all I'm saying. Period. Now, now the football season going on. And let y'all you know I'm living with a Dallas Cowboy fan right now. My father's a Dallas Cowboy fan, and now he's they they five and one, top of the division. But. I'm not going to say nothing. We're just going to see what happens if they can maintain all this. That's all I'm going to say. But then if you flip on over to basketball, now basketball season just started, and y'all know I'm a Brooklyn Nets fan. I'm a diehard Nets fan ever since they was in New Jersey. And my favorite player of all time is Jason Kidd. Just to let y'all know I'm not no bandwagon jumper. Jumper. I'm, um, I'm a diehard Nets fans since they was in New Jersey when it was the New Jersey Nets. I went to fans when it was a 2001-2002 season. 
that's when I first started getting into basketball. I mean, the first year I actually started watching basketball was around 2001. That's when it was like, you know, when I, um, it was Lakers and Sixers and it was Kobe and AI. And I felt like I was only a Laker fan by default. But honestly, when I started actually getting into basketball and I watched a team for myself, and I said, ooh, I like the Nets. I like how like how they play. And I actually like this um one player who stuck out to me was like I said, Jason Kidd. He's my number one favorite basketball player. And I don't care what nobody says. He's been my favorite basketball player. He's the one who stuck out to me with the Nets. He's the only one that stuck out to me. And I don't care what nobody says. And you know, he probably gonna be mad when I put him out, but I don't care. I had a coworker had the nerve to tell me <laughs> when I said I'm a diehard Nets fan he had the nerve to tell me I'm not a true Nets fan if I don't have if I didn't have a Darren Williams jersey when he said that I almost I almost went into a friend I almost went into frantic mode, and I was about to go off. I was like, hold up. Like, I when he said that, I said, hold up. First of all, let's get one thing straight. For one, Darren Williams came over to the Nets when it was like, it's like, what? It was pretty much when his career was slowly starting to decline. Let's, to be honest, Darren Williams' career slowly started to decline. Just to be honest. And it was like maybe um one or two more, like maybe it's well, around 2013 uh, or 14. When they was in um when when they moved out of Jersey, when Jay-Z moved them out of New Jersey and went to Brooklyn. And that's when you know things started to to, to come up from there when they got Joe Johnson and they had um you no know, uh Wallace and all, all them be all them players. Now now given that uh, now, now now let's go back. When he told me that I was not a true Nets fan if I didn't have a Darren Williams jersey, I have to tell him like first of all Darren Williams career started and had a he had a breakout season more when he was with Utah, he did more in Utah than what he did in Brooklyn. To be honest, Jason Kidd was in the league longer. Yeah, he was. He had his career started with Dallas, but then went to Phoenix. But then when he came to New Jersey Nets, he took a whole Nets team. He led them to a champion to the NBA Finals twice. Not one, twice. Yeah, they didn't win, but he led them back to back to the finals twice. And he did way more than what Darren Williams did. And knowing the fact that he's been in the league longer than Darren Williams. When I had to throw out all those stacks to get them, eh. Hey, I was so mad after that, but then after a while, <laughs> after a while, KK now says it was like, okay, all right, now I see. But other than that, like I said, Jason Kidd, my favorite basketball player of all time. And I hope he does a good job coaching with Dallas, his team that the team that drafted him. I hope he does good with them. And also, Die Hard Nets, man. And I believe this is going to be a good season for them. Minus all the drama that's going on, you know, with Kyrie and everything. Look, I understand how Kyrie feels. I understand how he feels about the vaccine and all that. I understand how he feels, man. And honestly, I just don't know. How to, I just don't know. But overall, I believe Brooklyn still got fight left them, And they can actually go all the way. I still believe they could go all the way. That's how much faith I got in them.
But overall, this is gonna be this is gonna be a good season overall. Cause I'm surprised it's just happening. Speaking of surprises. <laughs> last week I went to go um last week I went to go to um see Wildin' Out, the live taping of it last Friday. Uh, and it was actually a really dope experience, to say the least. Like, like I heard they was in Jersey City and they were doing a live taping, and this was actually a, the dopest experience ever. Like, you get to watch like what actually goes on behind the scenes, like the taping and like everything. It's like so dope, and it's like you pretty much like it said, like you almost like you're going to a club, but you know. Oh, it was real dope, and I remember they had said what the producer said. We're the first live audience since COVID, and for those of you who watched last season a while now, it was like um, you know, you can tell it was filmed during COVID because they only had all the cast there, you know, even the cast that was in the audience, like you can tell. But it was a real dope experience. Will I go back? Honestly, I would. Last time I went, me and my girlfriend had went. And you know, we had a good time. But would I go back? I would. I, I would go back. Um, if they ever be back on over either in Jersey or in New York. Either way, I would I'll go back, trust me. It, it, it was really a dope experience. I ain't gonna lie. Um, everything was um, was good. Like I really had a good birthday week though. All that I did on my week off, my girlfriend treated me to breakfast. Then we went walk around the mall. Then had a little bit of lunch. Then after that, came home. Parents cooked me my birthday dinner, which you know my chicken parm. I remember I posted that on my Instagram and my Facebook of uh, my birthday dinner and uh, somebody thought it looked like it was from a um look like a bistro, looked like an actual restaurant. I said, oh, my dad, I said, my dad made that. Cause he makes this chicken parm from scratch. Like he always, he does everything from scratch. He makes like, the first time I had it, I told him, I told my dad, I was like, dad, you need to make this for my birthday, like every year. Like you need to do this every year. I'm going like, I told my parents like this is every year. And opposed to me going out, spending a lot of money on an expensive dinner, I could just save my money and just have them <laughs> cook it here. <laughs> that was all, but overall my birthday weekend was good. 29, uh, one more year till I hit 30. I have a lot of goals and skill set. Like, I got a lot trying to do by that. You know, it's a lot I'm trying to do, but overall, this is going to be 29 is going to be a good year. I just got to enjoy this last year in my 20s. Just got to make it all count, you know? But thank you all for tuning in. Um, don't forget to give this video a like. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. And also, follow me on all social media platforms. And also, don't forget, if you want to give a little donation, hit up my cash app, the dollar sign, Jeremy J. Fit. And thank you all for all, all your support. To, um, everybody who's been supporting me, who's been rocking with me um, this, um, this long. Um, the amount of supporters I have right now. Thank you all who, for rocking with me still and just been supporting me and being a big push. And I really do appreciate y'all for real. Like that really do mean a lot. Cause not everybody had that. And um it really do mean a lot to me. Um but thank you all for tuning in and always remember do great, be great, feel great. Alright? I love y'all. Now.